All right, good afternoon, guys. It's your boy, Grant Johnson, back at it with another fitness video, and I'm joined today by my good friend, Colton Lentz. <laughs> and today we're gonna be going over our recent fitness calorie challenge we had on our Instagram, which are right here. And uh, for those of you who follow us there, you should follow us, and just left it up there, but it's also linked down below. That's where I'm the most active, and we did a challenge on there. It was a 30-day calorie challenge and I'll let Colin tell you a little about it. So basically the 30 day calorie challenge, all it was was every morning we wear these Fitbit watches and we just track our calories throughout the day. It just based it off of our heart rate and then at 11 o'clock every, every night, excuse me, we'd have to, uh, we'd send each other our results and then we post it on our Instagram stories and then we would just tell who the winner was based on who burned the most calories and then it was the first one to 15 and then that was the challenge. Yeah, so it was basically, we were trying to see who could win, burn the most calories each day. Deadline, 11 o'clock every night, and then we did it for 30 days or until we got to the 15th day, whoever won 15 days. And the results were, it was a final score of 15 to 14, and no, we did not cheat, I promise, even though some of you might think that. We would never do that, and it'd be really hard to cheat to do that. But it was score 15 to 14 with Colton, Colton winning it. And, uh, but it was, we went all out on the last day. I literally, I spent two hours at night. I burned after work. So we, we worked together and after work, I burned over 2000 calories just working out, like literally constantly up until 1055. I don't think I told Colton that really, but up till 1055, I was working out constantly and I burned like 5,000 something and he burned 6,500 calories or something insane. So it was pretty wild, but so I guess now we'll kind of give our thoughts on it. I mean, I thought it was, it was a, it was good and fun. What do you think? You know, I thought it was a good challenge because you know, it kind of given me like a little bit more motivation throughout the day because you know we have the same job, so we're gonna burn the same amount of calories. And then, you know, at the end of the day, it was like, well, I need to do this, so because we had money on the line, and so it gave me a little bit more motivation, I think to maybe go out and burn those extra calories. Because I know Grant himself, he works out every day, and so then I would have to work out and maybe throw in a little bit of extra or go a little bit higher intensity just to make sure that I would win the day or at least have a fighting chance on it. Oh yeah, that, uh, we forgot to mention, so the challenge, the consequences, whoever won got 50 bucks from the other person. And we were maybe gonna do like another consequence, but we ended up not doing it, so. Since Colton won, he gets the $50, which is what the thumbnail is, obviously. <laughs> but, yeah, I'd say it was it was fun, and it gave us both. I mean, I kind of just did what I normally did, but it forced me to work out more, like, when I was out of town. Like, times where I normally wouldn't work out, like, say I was gone and, like, I didn't have access to a gym. Because I knew I didn't want to let Colton beat me, or maybe I could trick him and think he'd have an easy day, I went hard, and then I still lost, but... It just it made us both be more active, and I'd say it was overall really good for us. Maybe sometimes we like went too hard, but overall I'd say it's good for us. And I lost some weight. Did you lose weight or did you gain weight? I actually gained weight. Yeah, I went from 193 to I think this morning I was 201 pounds. So it was kind of weird, but I suppose it's mostly muscle yeah, though. I'd say it was muscle because the whole COVID thing it kind of kind of got lax on my workout, so it's kind of <laughs> picked me back up. Yep, yep. So I guess that's kind of our thoughts on it. I mean, I don't have any other thoughts other than I thought it was fun and it was a good challenge. I'd be down to do another one sometime. All right, so now I threw some questions or I asked you guys if you had any questions on my Instagram story. Um, so we'll just go through those right now. First question is from Deidre Lamb. Uh, did you feel more motivated to do high intensity workouts in order to lose more calories? Um, Honestly, not really. I mean, I've always been, I don't want to do long workouts. Like I'm a big hit guy, high intensity interval training. So, and my workouts are typically pretty intense. So that didn't really change much for me other than I kind of was more mindful. Like I want to keep it intense so I could burn more calories, but I didn't really change a lot there. How about you? I don't know. I kind of found myself watching my watch a little bit more. So I think maybe it kind of picked up the intensity a little bit. And uh, I did find myself going on a few bike rides and stuff like that, which I would consider high intensity, longer workouts just to keep a steady heart rate and burn maybe some more calories throughout the challenge. 
So yeah, I think I did. I did. It did motivate me a little more to do some some of those high, higher intensities. So yeah, Colton had like some insane bike rides. Like he'd go bike twenty miles or something crazy. So that was definitely pushing you. It seems like. Yeah. Um, our next one is from Bradley Hunter. Did you watch? Did your watches track your calories the whole time? So Fitbits, yes, they do. Like they do. A, when you wake up in the morning, even when you've done nothing, you'll have some calories burned. So it keeps track of our metabolism and our calories. Like when I when we work out, you'd go on here and set I'm doing weights, and then you'd upload it like that. So it keeps track, and then it'll automatically recognize calories. And so at the start, like the first day, Colton used to use an Apple Watch. But then he got a Fitbit so that we'd both, it'd be more accurate. So yes, it did burn calories the whole time. Um, this one comes from Wesley Whitler. Who can eat the most and then burn it the quickest? What do you think? I Definitely Grant. Definitely Grant. He, uh, you should see the lunches he brings to work. <laughs> the sandwiches, I'm talking like four, five, six, seven inches thick. And then, I don't know, I, he could probably burn it off pretty easily too obviously look at him but yeah i can i can put down a good amount of food i'd say and uh, as far as like i could probably i don't know about eating the most but i eat more probably and burning it the quickest i mean obviously this shows that we both can burn calories a lot in colton one so that mean he could burn it the most um the next question comes from shane duffel can how can i get a six pack in five minutes um it's impossible <laughs> if it were possible we would all have six packs so unfortunately Shane you can't do it in five minutes as cool as that would be um then the next question comes from Lambo Jet Jet Lamb will you be doing a 10,000 calorie challenge or whoever can eat the most in one day you want to go ahead and tell them about oh, that's that? That's a good question. So actually what we were going to do is we were going to do a, a 5,000 calorie eating challenge because uh, we just thought, you know, 5,000, why not? That's a good number. And so we're going to go out on one meal. We're going to have 5,000 calories and we're going to go out and we're going to eat it. And we're going to, I don't know, there's no real challenge in it. We're just going to make a video out of it and you guys are going to get to watch it. Yeah. So I don't know when we'll be doing that. That'll probably be the next video. But it'll be 5,000 calories, one meal, and we'll try to we'll try to have the same foods, and then see if we can even finish. I don't think it'll be that big of a problem, but so yeah, we will be doing a 5,000 calories, one meal deal because it's kind of like 5,000 calories was typically a high day for us, so it'd be burning eating in one meal what we would burn in one day sometimes. Um, next question comes from Trey Ortman. You ever do an extra workout late at night just to get ahead, Colton? I did, yeah. I mean, sometimes late at night, you know, I thought I was only at like 4,000 calories or something like that, and I knew Grant might have had a big day. So maybe I'd go back in the weight room and do like a little boxing, like a half hour boxing session or something. Something minor like that, just to burn a couple, two, three, four hundred extra calories, just to maybe get that lead. Yeah, um, I would agree. I did, I did it sometimes too. Like, if there was days where I knew Colton was very active, but I was like, I was still active, but I thought I had a chance. Then I would go do another one later at night, or I'd just try to make my workouts longer, or maybe go for a run more. So sometimes I would, but not all the time. If there's days where like I knew Colton was like gonna be insanely high with calories, I'd just kind of like accept defeat. <laughs> but I, yeah, so sometimes I'd go hard at night, like last, like the last day. I definitely tried to, but. All right, this one's for Colton. You can read it. Okay. The, this one right here. Did Colton feel like he had to do a lot of extra stuff to burn calories in order to beat Grant? And this one's from Avery underscore Wine. Mm. Um, you know, I, I don't think I had to work extra hard or... What did it say? Do a lot of extra stuff. Do a lot of extra stuff. I don't think so because, you know, like we said earlier, Grant and I have the same job. And, uh, you know, I think that that would burn relatively the same amount of calories, maybe some days more, maybe some days less. But I think the biggest thing it did was it just gave me motivation to make sure that I actually did the workout that I was supposed to do that day. I don't think it made me push, push me any harder, but it just gave me that extra little motivation to make sure I needed to do what I needed to do. 
gave me that extra little motivation to make sure I needed to do what I needed to do. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, your workouts were still, when you did your workout, it was a lot of times more calories than I'd burn mine just because we do like different workout splits. Um, and the next question is also from Avery Weinheimer. She said, how did Grant get such a hot girlfriend? Um, I think I should probably answer that one. I would say, cause I'm a good sweet talker. <laughs> I'd say that's an opinion. <laughs> huh? Opinion based. All right, now we have the last question from Sebastian Frost. Who has a bigger belly button? I think I do. I think you might have me be up. His you got like the water hole. His is kind of closed. I can legit almost fit a quarter in mine. <laughs> I may or may not have tried it multiple times. I can fit a quarter like circular wise in my belly button. So I would say I have a bigger belly button. Um, I don't know if that's good. <laughs> <laughs> there's our cameraman Cedric. But uh, that's all the questions that we got. So I guess that's pretty much anything. We will be doing the 5,000 calorie in one meal challenge or whatever sometime soon. Maybe we'll do it in a couple of days, but I don't know when this will all get uploaded. But yeah, it was a good challenge. I'm glad we did it. And that's pretty much all I got to say. I got nothing to say. I mean, <laughs> it was fun. I liked it. And I plan to maybe do something like it, but if not some, the same thing again in the future. Yep. Well, that's going to be everything, so, uh, deuces. <laughs> I've never talked to a camera before. Is that look good? Hey, you look good. You're, you're inverted, so... You're I should just start right now while you're doing that.